Here I'm going to continue to look at compound interest, but in this video we're going to introduce some geometric series to some of our answers. Okay, so we're going to start with a question which says someone will invest 1,000 euro, let's say, every year for four years. What does that amount of money add up to when the annual equivalent rate is 5%? So in the previous video, we would have asked, well, what's the future value of that 1,000 euro over four years? Well, if it was just 1,000 euro at the start, the future value would be is equal to 1,000 times our interest rate, which is 5%, which is 5 over 100, which is 0 0.05. So overall, when we're calculating that, we're going to be multiplying our 1,000 by 1 1.05 to the power of 4. If that 1,000 euro was vested once and we were given an interest rate of 5% every year for four years, that total amount after the four years would be 1,215.5. So now what we're going to look at is, let's just say that this person invests 1,000 euro at a constant interest rate, which is compounded yearly at 5%, over four years. Well, if the person puts in 1,000 euro at the very start, then at the end of the four years, that 1,000 euro will have been in the account for four years, so it will be worth that much. The next year, the 1,000 euro will be in the account for three years, so that is times our interest rate, which is the power of three. The next 1,000 euro will be in the account for two years, and the last 1,000 euro will be just in the account for one year. Well, we could just add that up if we wanted to, but let's just say we are going to look at this in a slightly different way. If I actually just rearrange this, hopefully what you'll see, and take out 1,000 euro, because I'm just going to factorize the 1,000 for now. What you'll see is I have created a geometric series. There. And for the geometric series, this part here, the first term is just my interest rate, 1.05, and my ratio is just term 2 over term 1, which is just going to be equal to 1.05 1 squared divided by 1.05, which is 1.05. Right, so I can use the sum of a series to work out what that is going to add up to. So the sum of a geometric series, Sn, is equal to A inside of or to the n minus 1, all divided by or minus 1. So that figure is going to be 1000 times, so a is 1.05, or is 1.05, and n is just going to be 4, because there's 4 terms, all over or minus 1, which is 1.05 minus 1. So it turns out that figure is going to be equal to 4525. 0.63. Okay, so if 1,000 euro was invested every year, then after four years that total amount, which is a total of 4,000 invested, would accumulate up to 4,525 euro. Now, let's just say that the question asked us to work out the future value of that 1,000 euro. So let's say 1,000 euro was compounded monthly. So that means the in-person invested 1,000 euro every month for four years. Well, we can still say that P is 1,000, or AEOR is 5%. Okay, But now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. We could convert the AEOR, which is the annual interest rate, into a monthly interest rate, and use the sum of a geometric series directly from that and I'm going to show you that in a minute but first if you just want to use the AE or which is an annual rate what you have to do is instead of incrementing by the yearly amount here we're going to have to increment in months so in this question we're going to say that we're investing 1000 every month um, the interest rate is going to be 5% that's an AE or and we are using time is equal to four years, but it's a compounded monthly, so it's going to be 48 months. So I'm going to use a similar approach to what I've done there, except I'm not going to write them out in reverse order first. I'm just going to write them out in the forward order. Our future value is going to be 
1000 to the times 1.05 to the power of 1 twelfth. Okay, so that's essentially the 1000 euro that's in it for the last month plus 1000 times 1 1.05 to the power of 2 twelfths plus all the way up to the last 1000 euro times 1 1.05 to the last month, which is 48 over 12. So again, what I'm going to have here is a geometric series. So I'm going to take out the common factor, which is 1000, and then build up my uh, geometric series, just like I did in the previous question. So that's going to be equal to 1000 outside of 1 1.05 to the power of 1 12th, plus all the way up to 1000 times 1.05 to the power of 48 over 12. So that gives us a geometric series where our first term a is equal to 1.05 to the power of 1 12th. And or is going to be term 2 divided by term 1, which is going to be 1.05 to the 1 12th. Well, if I plug that into the sum of geometric series and keep the 1000 on the outside, we're left with a outside of 1.05, which is or to the 1 12th, times the number of terms, there's 48 terms, that's or to the power of n, so that's going to be 48 over 12 minus 1, all over 1.05 minus 1. Okay, just to clarify there that the or is 1.05 to the 1 12th there. Um, so, plugging that into the formula, we get a total sum of 53,111.85. Okay, so that's 1,000 euro invested monthly and compounded monthly at 5% for a total of 4 years, which is 48 months. It gives me a total of 53,111. An alternative way to do that is instead of using the 12th, 2 twelfths, up to 48 twelfths is to convert the annual interest rate which is five percent into a monthly interest rate and we did that in the last video just to show you again if our annual interest rate is 1.05 well that's going to be equal to a monthly interest rate of i here from the last video so we work rearranging that formula we're left with i being 1.05 to the power of 1 twelfth minus 1, which is 0 0.00407, okay? So if that's the monthly interest rate, then future value is going to be equal to 1,000 times 1 1.00407 to the power of 1 all the way up to 1,000 times 1.00407 to the power of 48 for the 48 months. And if I plug that into the geometric series, what I'm going to get is 1,000 outside of A, which is the first term of my series, 1.00407. And OR is 1.00407, because it would be term 2 divided by term 1, and term 2 is 1.00407 squared divided by term 1, which is 1.00407. So or is just 1.00407 as well. So that would give me a total amount of 1.00407, which is a outside of or to the n, 1.00407. And n, there's 48 terms, minus 1 all over 1.00407 minus 1. And that will give me my total value. Again, just plugging that into geometric series. And that gives me 53,106, which is a rounding error because we rounded up this figure here to that. Okay, so overall there's a number of ways of calculating a future value of a sum of money which is invested continually and then compounded every month or every year. Okay, but in both methods we used a geometric sequence. In the first one, all we did was say that it was invested monthly. Okay, and we used the annual equivalent rate over the number of months that it was invested. And here, what we 
just doing the same thing pretty much is instead of using the annual equivalent rate i.e. the interest rate of 1.05 we said the interest rate was now actually 1.05 to the power of 1 12th because it was compounded monthly which is shown in the first video so there are two ways to figure out the future value of a sum of money which is invested at a same interest rate and the same amount is invested each time.